Sleepless and Tidmouth. It was a busy day at Wellsworth. Edward and Philip were working hard organizing the yard. Later, Edward was filling up on water when a workman walked up to him. There's a train of pipes waiting at the docks. Can you please collect them and bring them back here so Hero can take them on his train? Of course, sir. Whoa, Philip. Slow down when shunting. You don't want to have an accident. Oops, sorry, Edward. Still getting used to things around here. <laughs> I've got to pick up some pipes at the docks, but I'll be back soon. All right, Edward. Have fun. Tell Salty and Porter I said hi. Will do. I'll see you soon. Philip continued shunting the trucks around the yard. But he wasn't being very careful. Hey, truck! What do you want? Can't you see I'm sleeping? Look how fast I can shunt! Ooh, Station Master! Oh, I'm in trouble now! Later, Edward arrived back at the yards. I'm back, Phil- oh, what happened? That's what I'd like to know! Oh, I'm sorry, Edward, I'm sorry, sir. It was an accident, I shunted the trucks a bit too hard. Oh, Philip, you've done a lot of silly things in the past, but this takes the cake! Just then, the station master walked up to Sir Topham Hat. This shed is structurally fine, sir, but it's going to take at least till morning to clean up all that oil. Let alone get all of the trucks out of there. Morning? Ugh. Where are we gonna sleep in the meantime? Well, there's room for one of you in the carriage shed. We aren't expecting Bear's coaches back till tomorrow afternoon. Edward, you can stay here. That way you'll be ready for your morning passenger train. As for Philip... Hmm... Rebecca is taking the goods train to the mainland tonight. I suppose you could stay at Tidmouth, Philip. Oh, yes, sir! So that night, Philip made his way to Tidmouth Sheds. He was excited. He hadn't seen some of his other friends in a while. Oh, is that Philip? Oh, looks like it is. Hello, everyone! Guess who's spending the night? Oh, joy. What? Don't you have your own shed to sleep in? I do, but there was an incident at Wellsworth. I accidentally jumped to some trucks into the shed and they derailed. It's going to take all night to clean up. So Sir Topham had told me I could stay here for the night. <sighs> Leave it to the clumsy little box cab to mess up. Philip, uh, what are you doing here? Philip's gonna be spending the night with us tonight, Percy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Wait, if you're going to be here, then where does Edward stay? He's still at Wellsworth, just in the carriage shed. Well, there's a few things you need to remember, little Philip. You're on the main line now. Indeed. And us main line engines need our sleep. Oh, yes, Gordon. Oh, what shooting star. Do you still go by that? It's been so long I can't remember. Shooting Star, eh? Where's that from? It's Gordon. Oh, well, when we went to the Great Railway Show... Oh, Gordon looks so cool! He was given some very shiny streamlining and had an awesome emblem! He looked incredible! But he left before Victor had done his last safety check, and turns out he didn't have a safety valve! So during the race, his boiler exploded and he lost the race! Alright, alright, that's enough. Agreed. I have to take a very heavy goods train tomorrow, and I need my rest. Well, don't take too much, James. I probably won't be there to catch you this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not funny. I was in the steamworks for almost a week. Boof, bash, crash. <laughs> Gordon and James were getting annoyed with Philip, and unfortunately for them, Philip was far from done. He talked most of the night. At last, even the other engines were getting tired of it. Oh, Nia, did I ever tell you about the time Charlie put- I think that's enough storytelling for the night, Philip. It's getting pretty late, and we do need to get some sleep. Uh, a little late for me. <laughs> the other engines fell asleep, all except Philip. He was too excited to sleep. Psst, Nia, are you still awake? <sighs> I am now. What's Africa like? Are there lots of engines there? Is it really hot? That's it. I can't take this anymore. Where are you going, Gordon? To get the key. Key? That's finally happened. Gordon's dome was cracked. The key to stop this noise. The other engines were a bit worried. Should someone go after him? Not me. Good night. It's Gordon. I'm sure he'll be fine. A bit of time passed. Just then, Gordon returned, along with... <gasps> Edward! 
Edward, have you come to stay? No, Philip, I haven't. Gordon tells me you've been talking all night. I'm sorry, Edward. I'm just really excited about staying the night here. I understand, but Philip, you've got to remember every engine needs a good night's sleep. Remember what I said the first night I stayed at Wellsworth? <sighs> sorry, everyone. Sometimes I can't help being a bit of a chatterbox. Sorry if I annoyed any of you. Suddenly, the sheds fell silent. Everyone looked over at Philip, who had fallen fast asleep. <laughs> He's talked himself to sleep. How do you keep them in control, Edward? First Bill and Ben, now Philip? Ah, oh, well, it's just a knack. <laughs> Hide, everyone. With that, Edward headed back to Wellsworth, and the other engines fell asleep, happy to have peace and quiet at last. Almost to the next station. I can do it. I can do it. Come on, Percy. Wake up, Percy. No sleeping on the job. 